It's happening, I must tell you. Sunday Guru spokesman, Yoruba Nation, has declared the president of Maitiala also wanted. You know, Maitiala yesterday released a statement saying that, you know, they've been on Igboho, I'll come back to the statement, they've been on Igboho for the fact that he issued a quick notice out of Ibadan for a Fulani headsman, eh? Misaki Fulani, and he actually came to do it, and the people have been praising him and calling him a leader. This has burst the bubble of the, of the, of the North. You know, they keep calling again and again that they should arrest Sunday Boho. He has, uh, he has done this, he has done that. To the extent that they now sent, you know, DSS on him. Thank God he was able to, he was saved. However, we're sorry. Two people were lost in the process. And uh, 13 others are still in Abuja. God will save them. You know, the Mighty Allah released a statement saying that uh, um, since DSS uh, attacked Sunday Boho's home, and what happened and everything that happened, um, it shows that the that they've not been able to still see Sunday up till now. Um, the southern governors, uh, southwest governors precisely, what, the six of them are hiding him in their house. And as a matter of fact, he said that um, the, the presidency is planning a manhunt to send DSS to go and ransack the house of the governors. And we're like, what? Now Yoruba Nation is declaring my president of my ATLA wanted. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. <laughs> it's happening. Sunday Boho spokesman declares president of my ATLA wanted. Hours after Fulani Hetzman Group, Maitiala Kotha Hod alleged that Southwest governors are hiding Sunday Boho simply Sunday Adeyemo, simply known as Sunday Boho, or Laomi Koiki has declared the president of the group also wanted. In his post on Facebook, a Boho spokesman posted a picture of the president with a tag wanted written on him. The DSS had declared Sunday Boho wanted after they raided his home in Ibadan Soka, destroyed his property, killed two, and took 13 others. According to Koiki, the group's president is wanted by pro Yoruba Patriotic Front for headsmen killing of Nigerians and Yoruba people. Recall that Maeti Ala spokesman Sally Hassan has asked Sunday Boho to turn himself in for security operative. They really want to kill Sunday Boho, I tell you. They want to get their pan of flesh. They feel so hot. You can see that they are very vengeful. It's just like Buhari. That Twitter deleted his tweets. There are people who cannot, I mean, they cannot take criticism, you know, with, maybe it's their traits. They cannot take criticism. They feel very hot, and, you know, feel demeaned, feel humiliated, you know, that Sunday Boho was not apprehended. They are not even satisfied that two people were killed, that they are human beings. No, it's Boho they want to get. They want to get their pound of flesh. You don't get it. Like he killed their child. You don't get it. People reacted to this post here as some of the reactions that people have said, yes, let's get started. Let, let's get it on them as well. Some said confirm. He is wanted. The other one said they are terrorists. They are the one ruling the country. That's why. And that one said, see the face of a killer. You know, I mean, just different uh, reaction. One, and that one said, yes, first step, confirmation. One good step in a good direction. And that one said, wanted. The most wanted man on earth. Sonic Boy is not the wanted man. This is the wanted man. It could be seen that, you know, I mean, that's just a cross section of a few comments. It could be seen from the comments above that some people are also alleging that the leader of the mighty ally is a killer. Why are you declaring Sunday Boho wanted who has not killed a single person? He did not kill any of the people or anybody. You know, so this is what is happening. This is what is going on. This is what we're experiencing now as at today. Uh, you know, so if you look at everything, you understand that there is serious cause for concern. Koiki has said, this is the real person that should be wanted. All Sunday Bohu wants is for people to be safe, better life for everybody. That's what, I mean, I'm not preaching for Sunday Bohu, but if you have listened to him, I've listened to this man a few times. To be quite honest, that was what he said. I am not happy that Yoruba sons and daughters, children are selling things on the streets, on the highway, selling pure water, uh, soft drinks and the rest. 
why you know the government's officials will be the one to stop on the on the traffic and buy something from them even collect change and he made reference to say overseas even government will ask you why is this child not in school our government do not care they are sharing money in uh, in, uh, in in Asso rock and looking after themselves their children sending their children to the best of schools and you think life will just be beautiful for you and your household why you make others to suffer please think again eh? think again it's not fair it's not fair the way you guys are treating other people's children because they are not your children please don't do that it's wrong what is wrong is wrong okay what is wrong is wrong so koiki is declaring the man wanted koiki say yeah yeah this is the real wanted fellow this is the person nigerians should be putting their eyes on is the real wanted fellow eh they are just they are just saying sunday boho they just like the name eh this is the real wanted fellow I mean, when you look at everything that is happening, you know that there is serious cause for alarm. I mean, concern. Everything that is going on, it shows truly and really that we are we are just in this space that if God does not save and rescue us from, only God knows what will happen. To be quite candid, only God knows what will happen. Eh? How can we just sit back and allow these people to continue to commit all this various crime? And yet, Buhari says they can go free. That they are free. In fact, they are, they are here as the only carry sticks. And we all know, you and I know what is going on. Is that not a clear indication that there is something more to all this than beneath the eyes? That we are actually in a position where if God does not save us, only God knows what will happen. If you look at all the things that are happening, you know, you know, you know, you and that you know that something is not right. That this country is very deprived of truth, of honesty, you know, that there is wrong, evil going on all around us. And we need transformation. We need change from all these evil occurrences so we can forge ahead and make better, you know, better life for ourselves. The cry for self-determination is everybody's right. You know, it's not against the law. There is nothing that says anybody cannot, you know, go and, you know, have a self-determination. If there is cause for it, why not if not? Why are you going, uh, I mean, making life unbearable for people because you are in position of leadership? It's not done. It's not done in any way, form or kind. It should not be allowed or condoled. It should not. Sadly, those who are in government are beginning to wake up, especially the southern leaders. They are beginning to wake up. We are still waiting for the senators and the rest of them. Mm, we are still waiting for those ones. Those are another set of uh, people who only God will deliver from the greed of money. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. Let it count. God bless you. Bye for now.